Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to take a look at a very, very cool piece of software to help you recover data from your flash drives, SSDs, hard drives, etc. Perhaps you've maybe lost a partition, or like me, you've uh, formatted a drive to put a BIOS on it when there's actually information on here that you needed. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at a piece of software called PhotoRec. Now, PhotoRec has uh, been around a long time, and it's the first time I've actually come across it, so we're gonna take a look at it. It's brilliant. It's a file recovery system, or software, which works on a, a multitude of different platforms, including Windows, Linux, etc., etc. But best of all, it's absolutely free, and there are no limitations to it, and it should save your bacon if you've lost some files. Now, this particular flash drive, I've used this to uh, download and extract a BIOS onto it. I then realized after that there is actually some footage on here I needed for a router review that I'm currently in the process of trying to do. So yeah, my saved footage is on here. So rather than go through and have to do hours and hours of footage again, we're gonna try and use PhotoRec to recover our uh, movie files, which are on here. Now you can use it to recover all sorts of files. As we go through the software, you can see there's various things you can select. Although originally the program was designed pretty much with kind of SD cards and camera cards in mind for recovering them. So a few things, first of all, ground rules, obviously, depending on the size of your drive, it's gonna try and recover basically the entire size of this, if not more, if there's deeper files. So you are going to need a hard drive or some other storage medium, which is larger than the actual drive you're trying to recover from. That is something, so obviously if you've got a one terabyte drive but your Windows system disk is only 250 gigs, you might struggle depending what it finds. So do bear that in mind. So ideally you wanna have a bigger drive to recover. Something else which is really good about this piece of software is it actually only works in read only mode. So if for some reason PhotoRec doesn't recover the data that you wanted off of your drive, it's only using read only mode. So it's not actually gonna to write to the disk. If you ever think you've lost some information on any of your drives, immediately stop using it, disconnect it from the system if at all possible, because every additional write cycle can potentially lose more data or corrupt it even further. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's take a look at the software and see if it can recover my video files. So this is the landing page for PhotoRec. There will be links in the video description, but you can go to cgsecurity.org, wiki PhotoRec. Now, when you download this, you'll get two programs, one of which is PhotoRec, You'll also get Test Disk as well. Test Disk is an application which we might take a look at in more depth in a follow-up video. If we do that, I'll link that in the video description so you can check that out. That is essentially for testing a drive, as you can probably guess, because it says Test Disk, but also it can recover partitions, etc., which might be handy. So potentially we'll take a look at that again. If that has been done, there will be a link in the video description. But for now, we're just gonna download the software and get started on our recovery. So we're gonna go over to the download section here at the top and we'll close down the advert. And there is the sections here for test disk and photo rec 7.2, which is the current latest version. So you've got options for Windows 32-bit, 64-bit, Mac OS X, for Intel systems, Linux, x86 and x64s, Marvel, Arch, DOS even. So yeah, lots of options there. Obviously we are on a Windows operating system, we're on Windows 11, so I'm gonna get the Windows 64-bit version. So it's gonna click on there and it will start the download process. I'm just gonna save this to the desktop for ease of this particular video, but obviously you can put it wherever you want to. So that shouldn't take very long at all. It's a very small file, so we can minimize this now. And there is our zipped folder. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to right click and choose extract all and we'll extract it to the desktop as well. Again, you can extract it to wherever you feel is uh, appropriate for your particular system. And if you look inside the folder, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but the one you want is to scroll down and we wanna find the uh, photo rec application. So that's that one there. Now, there's actually two versions. There's a Windows version there, QPhotoRec. This is the kind of more graphical interface. If you use PhotoRec Win, that is kind of almost like a DOS box. So if we take a look at both of them, so you'll get your user account control, click yes. So this will load up and this basically goes through in a DOS window, which you're more than welcome to do. If you want to do that, you can do. Some people find it easier to do it that way. But if you don't, you can use the, uh, the graphical interface version. 
So there we go, we're going to put the drive in, so I'm going to stick that into a USB 3 slot. And at the moment you can see it's got the Dead Island 2 save games, which we saved after I formatted the drive, which was a little bit of a mistake. So what we want to do now is to actually refresh this. So actually I'm going to quit this. Should have put the drive in first of all. So once you've got your drive actually connected, then you can open up the application. And then you should be able to find your drive. So uh, if you click on this down arrow here, you can choose between your drives. This is in a 4K monitor, so it doesn't scale particularly well, but you'll get the general idea. So physical drive there, 15 gig, SanDisk Ultra. Obviously choose whichever drive is appropriate for you. So I'm gonna choose that one. And you can go through it here, the file system type. So if you know what the file system type is, it makes life a lot easier. So you can choose FAT32 NTFS. Now ours would have been FAT32 or NTFS, I'm not too sure. Obviously if you're using other file systems like uh, EXT2, EXT3, etc., you can choose that there, but we're FAT or NTFS. And also on this section here, you've got options. So you've got the free scan. So scan profile from unallocated spaces only, or you can choose whole. So that's extract files from the whole partition. For safety's sake, I would probably say whole. That way you can recover absolutely everything. And then at the bottom here, please select a destination to save the recovered files to. So we'll click on browse. And what you can do, I'm going to actually create a new folder. So I'm going to choose desktop, uh, new folder, and we'll call this recover. Obviously, you can call it whatever you like to. We'll highlight that, choose select folder, and you can see now we've got our C, colon slash, users, mture, desktop, recover. So that is pretty much it. So now what we want to do is to actually start the process off. In order to do that, you click on search. It's not obviously that clear, but click on search and then it will start doing its thing. So as you can see straight away, it's reading the sectors. So in this top left-hand corner, obviously, again, this doesn't scale particularly well on a 4K monitor, but you get the general idea. So it gives you a process bar or progress bar, I should say. And that goes through, tells you how many files it's found, how many percent it is. Again, this is a relatively small drive, only 15 gigs, so it shouldn't take too, a great deal of time anyway. It tells you the amount of files recovered and the actual file family. So currently, there are five movie files. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean they're MOV format. They could be uh, MPEG-4, DivX, AVIs, all that kind of stuff. That incorporates all those, and also there's four text files. I'm not entirely sure what those are, but I'm hoping that the five files there are actually some footage that I've recorded of my uh, my network examination. I've been taking a look at some routers. Anyway, I'm boring you to death now, so I'm gonna let this carry on. And when it comes back at the end, we'll see and see what it's actually recovered. Okay, so taking a look at our recovery. So this is the original USB drive, our drive D. And you can see there's a couple of uh, Dead Island files as we showed you a little bit earlier. And this on the desktop is the recovery file. So I've got desktop, go into recover, which is our recovery folder. And they've got the recovery directory one. Obviously, if it's done a, a deeper scan, then you'll see more directories here. We go into that so there are four random text files not entirely sure what they are but these look distinctly like obs recordings which i actually needed now i will say the file names are going to be different so these aren't the file names that i used normally the file names would be the actual kind of date and timestamps for the actual recordings but it does appear that the footage that i was after does appear to be, yep, yeah, that all looks to be there. So those are the five files that I needed. So now if I wanted to, I could just copy those onto the D drive, onto a USB stick for transfer again, or whatever you want to do. But it has done what it needs to do. So it has recovered the files, which is absolutely awesome. So there we go. Our USB drive actually did have the files on there that I needed, which is absolutely awesome. Saves me a good few hours of setting back up a router and doing all kinds of testing and recording, etc., which is a real pain in the backside. And potentially for you, if you've lost files on a hard drive or whatever it might be, this could potentially save your bacon. So yeah, the fact that it is completely free, there's no payment whatsoever. It just kind of does what it needs to do. So definitely worth a look. And there's obviously other options you can do which we have looked at previously. There's one from Microsoft, you've got Recover and various other options. So do check out our other videos. We'll try and get a playlist together actually or link them in the video description below. So if this for some reason doesn't work for you, we'll give you some alternatives. 
that you can definitely try. Uh, Recover is actually one that I generally tend people to go for. If you've been using the Microsoft one, the command line one, it's not the best and it is quite slow, whereas this actually I found to be quite nippy. So definitely worth taking a look at in my opinion. So anyway, I've waffled on for way too long. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then don't forget you can click on the subscribe button and the chime icon and you'll be notified of videos daily. We do re release videos on a pretty much daily basis, so there's always something new and exciting to watch from Mike's Unboxing. So I think that's going to wrap things up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.